Just the chicken plow. Uh, you tell me what, what else is on the menu, please, sir, for today. <laughs> This is a portable TV that's had some minor modifications done to it, but for the most part it's untouched. It's been sitting in a shed for years, no idea if it works or anything. Got some plans for it. This used to be a reproduction of an antique radio. It had a tape deck shoved in the side, took that out and shoved all the guts from a portable TV in it. We then turned it into an oscilloscope, but it was never that good of an oscilloscope. It worked really badly. Then it was bashed around for a while and... Well, I don't even know if it still works or not. I'm not even going to test it. I'm just going to rip all the parts out of it and gut it. And then, I'm going to see about turning that little TV into a proper oscilloscope. <laughs> Hail Satan. As it turns out, all it takes to make a TV into an oscilloscope is just hooking up speaker wires to one of the focusing coils. It's pretty simple. But it didn't work that well when I did it to this one. These relays do the job, switching between. It was pretty cool for a while. But I think we can do a little bit better than that. Let me gut this thing real quick. And then I'm going to give you about six minutes of high-speed music montage action. But not before we test this TV, of course. Would you look at that? I wouldn't call that works, but it does turn on anyways. You know, I don't think I'm going to use these guts. I think instead I'm going to use the untested guts from the other TV and just hope for the best. That's what we're going to do. Let's see what's inside this thing. It's been sitting in a shed for so long. That's definitely a brown recluse spider skin right there. And that's definitely a brown recluse spider. Now, we love spiders here and we go out of our way not to hurt them. But we make an exception for brown recluse because they're nasty little bastards. And they will ruin your day. Now that he's out of there, enjoy the montage. Oh, chicken dip. Why did you send a butter Chicken Dick got his camera out. Got his tin crown out. And he spread it all about. Got his camera out. And camera went. Everybody who 
saw that photo As you can see, it doesn't do the best with vector scope music. It can just about draw a circle, but that's about the only shape it can get right. That's what happens when you use LM386 audio amplifiers for an oscilloscope. It's not bad though. You may be wondering why we used the guts from a different TV when we had a perfectly good TV. Well, you may have noticed that TV only took RF input. You can't hook a PlayStation to that without a stupid little adapter. So we had to put a board compatible with composite video. Of course, the new board is not compatible with RF input, which is perfectly fine because there aren't any usable signals on the airwaves anymore. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Now be sure and go watch a bit of Big Clive or some Fran Blanche. Shango 066 works on TVs. He's pretty cool. And Photonic Destruction is a pretty cool show the channel War Dialer Productions, you're going to want to check them out. Stay tuned to watch me lose by one point.